in Germany. QVC operates in broadcast, obviously here in the United States with QVC, our, our QVC2, and then we also have uh, a third channel. We have sisters channels in London, Berlin. We have one that uh, is in Tokyo. We're in China, and I know I'm forgetting somebody, but in Germany, and this is a German company, oh, Italy too, in Germany, they manufacture the absolute most perfect silk plants that are rated for outdoor use. Now, I'm not talking about set it out for a night right. on the patio. I'm talking about it stays outdoors, and you can use these to flank a walkway, plant them in the ground if you so desire, mm -hmm. And because rose bushes are so popular, yes. but they're difficult to maintain, they are. You buy them, and you have this thing for years. This is hello, Hi. welcome back. Good to be here. By Thanks the way, I haven't me. seen you in so long. I know, I had this, a nice little break. <laughs> uh, this is Janine Graff, and Janine and I will be doing a lot of work together yes. as we get into Christmas in July. Mm -hmm. But this is a time of year I don't get to normally see you. Yeah. We've got white roses. Right. Red roses. Mm -hmm and pink roses, and I'm telling you, this is what's crazy, even standing close to them, right? you cannot tell these are artificial because that's real wood. Yep. And the finest greenery that I've ever seen on Isn't a silk. Isn't it beautiful? I it is. Really, it, this is truly trick of the eye. This is really one of the most beautiful and high quality artificial flowers that I've ever seen. Well, I've seen artificial flowers, but right. what I hadn't seen is artificial trees. Right, a whole tree. Yeah. Right. I mean, four, four feet. So the, the problem you run into is if you go to a garden center, you're going to spend about this much anyway. Right. But in a few weeks, it starts to get a little droopy. Well, if uh, I have a big rainstorm, I'm going to lose petals. Exactly. This is always perfectly in bloom. Yeah. All year round. And no having to prune it, no having to use yes. fertilizers. Don't worry about the little bugs that are going to come in and eat through the leaves. These are absolutely uh, beautiful to look at. They're completely maintenance free. And what we've done is try to give you the most realistic bloom variations of blooms. So you're yeah. getting 36 roses. That's three dozen roses in this beautiful tree. And some are smaller, they some are. are bigger. You'll notice, yeah. So you'll notice some of them are in little blooms, some are more uh, mature blooms, but they're all kind of frozen in that perfect kind of silhouette yep. of that traditional rose that we love, even some of the colorations. Now with the red, we've got the darker tips that you would find just like in a real rose. Uh, and then you've got that beautiful white and you have the pink. That, so the color red, for everybody. So many people when they think of ro roses, they think red. That traditional red is the most popular. I've got less than five dozen of these. Oh, wow. These are made by hand. They, they are, yes. Every one of them is made individually. Three dozen roses on each one of these bushes. And what we've done, now we have little mulch pits here, but we went ahead and You and can plant them. them. Yeah. You can plant them right into and, and your garden. It's the wildest thing. Some have little vines that grow around them. Yeah, Look. they all do, right. Okay. Yeah. That's real wood and beautiful foliage. Beautiful foliage. The foliage, I mean, the detailing on the foliage, you have the veining, you have the variations of the, the different colors and the greens. So you're getting that realism. You're getting the quality, but also don't worry about these. Like you said, they are truly outdoor rated. Let so them you live outdoors, them, so to speak. You can put them in the rain. You can put them in a covered porch. It doesn't matter. Okay. Don't worry about the sun. You can take them in and out, depending on That's... maybe what your events are. Maybe you're going to have a summer party or gathering. Put them in the backyard. Put them in beautiful potted plants. Now, they will come with a little pot. I'll show you later, but here on the film, you're seeing we put it in a house plant right. potter, like and a I ceramic pot right so it just dresses it up but you have the height you have the fullness look at how perfectly um, positioned now that frames the front door and you've got that beautiful manicured rose bush tree that you've always wanted that now you don't have to worry about taking the shears and well, the fertilizer it comes down to we're married to our garden so often yes because of the maintenance factor involved you know if you're a busy individual who wants to travel you don't worry about this at all you know, these... Yeah, th that's true. They're, they're Go plants, on vacation. Plants, you don't not have children. To yeah. yeah, you don't have to water yeah. these. I went running around all day yesterday at a nursery. I was in a full sweat trying to get plants. Trying, <laughs> yes. You know, I don't want to have to plant my own plants. 
it's most of the time I'm buying the pre-made. I am not a green thumb. I appreciate it, but so I want easy. This is my kind of gardening. And the other yeah. great trick is if you are a gardener or if you like some real flowers and you can mix in some of our traditional and beautiful I agree. faux flowers. And you'll never know. You'll never know. It instantly elevates your landscape from the curb. Yep. You would never know. The only thing. The only reason people would know is if you leave it out in the dead of winter. Then they're going to say something. How'd you get the roses fishy to grow? about yeah. that? But take it inside. Put it inside and enjoy well, it in the winter time. The whole idea here is, these are focal points. Yes. Why not make those focal points perfect? Right. Without any work, without any concern, and yeah. I am absolutely blown away at how great? well they're done. Yes. Yeah, so By I'm the just... way, a, a true white rose right. is not white. It has a little bit of a lime green tinge. It does. It has a creaminess to it. To those flowers. And if you look, look that's exactly that. what they've done. Aren't they beautiful? 36, three dozen roses, that's all of that foliage. Really perfect. So you really even can't see through it. And I was holding up the pot just to show you. We even put some faux moss on the bottom there to, right. to finish it off. You've got that nice little container, and then you can, it's lightweight but heavy enough that it's not going to tip over. Put it inside another pot. Maybe I put would. some rocks around there oh, to weight it down. I hate to interrupt. If you want the red, this is it. I've got three dozen left in the red. Okay. And then they're gone. And because every one of these has to be made by hand, it takes months to get them back and in. And they're silk. I mean, these are real silk. The finest They're silks. soft, they're beautiful, and the petals look, on the pink. Look at the pink, and I'm gonna take one of the pink and open it up a little bit. That's a ballerina shoe pink. That's beautiful. It, a real pink rose, the center is creamy white. And it is. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's so realistically done. And look at the layers of the petals. We gave you that full bloom. We gave you a variety of sizes of blooms. We gave you that thick foliage. I'm holding my hands behind. You can't even see through all of the foliage. And it's, it's variegated greenery. You see the little striations yes. of white. And uh, even the In edging. Germany, there's one particular company in Germany that does this. Yes. And they are world renowned for their quality. And every time that these were on our sister network in Germany, mm -hmm. Uh, they sold out. And maybe you already purchased our um, pompous grass yep. here or our yep. allium grass. That was also from the same company. They're very well known for the most realistic faux plants. These are the same types of quality plants and flowers you would see on a movie set or you're going to see back here on our right. studio sets to give you that realistic yeah. feel and look, but you can have it in your yard or in your home. What do that dozen roses set you back for Mother's Day? That's so, that's so true. Right? It's so true. This is three dozen that you can actually set outside. Uh, people flank their doorways with them. Mm -hmm. It's money very well spent. And there are times in life where you just want the very best. It's true. Even if you're having an event, this is such a great investment because maybe you'll use it for a wedding or uh, a reunion or something like that. And then maybe your sister or your aunt are going to borrow it for a graduation party. Uh -huh. You can pass them around. You can plant them. You, they're portable. You can take them to your vacation home if you want. It's just a beautiful accent piece that you said. It's a focal point and it's a rose bush and it's a rose tree, tree. actually. Yeah. It's a tree with real wood. It's just beautiful. It's the, the beauty of the unexpected. It is. Uh, I have two small rose trees in my garden. Mm -hmm. They were gorgeous when I bought them. They're the biggest pain in the they patoot are. I have, to I manage. Have roses. I have the, we had the beetles. I well, had, for me, oh my I, gosh. I, I'll have one rose on the bush. Isn't it the worst? Yeah. And, and I, I never trim them beautifully enough, so I, they're yeah, always I kind of <laughs> odd shaped, yeah. and I have some roses. and So enjoy the pristine, always perfect, always in bloom tree. I agree. Uh, it, 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 listen, in our busy lives, how often is there any perfection? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Effort. So this is nice. It is great it to good see to be you here. back. Thanks for having the me. The white, very popular. Yeah, that so red pretty. is almost gone. Okay. And when it's gone, it is gone. I can't get it back in for a long time to come. There's two dozen left in that red, and then we've got that gorgeous, that gorgeous pink, pink, is pink so as well. Pretty. Coming up from Holmes, it's not a fan. I know it looks like a fan, but it's actually an air circulator, and there is a difference. That's coming up in about 10 minutes. An air circulator, instead of just creating a tube of air that flows across a room, this actually breaks that tube of air up so that it goes all throughout the room. So you get this wonderful, soothing, gentle breeze that a fan just cannot do. And we've got it at a great price. We'll be showing you that coming up in just a little bit.
how to clean, how to dust. Well, let's start with, if you've got a really important issue in your life, 